Welcome back to Pride. Today's video, we have a request video. We have a viewer who asked about using a Century Bob along with your slip line. He said he attaches his slip line to his Century Bob. He wanted some drills to work on it. He asked my opinion on it. And there's a lot to do with this, so I figured I'd just make a video on it using the slip line and the Century Bob together. So first you'll notice my bob is not attached to my slip line. He's free. I like to position the bob just over his right shoulder or his left shoulder to the slip line. This way very close to simulating one of his arms throwing a strike. When I'm on this side of the slip line, I'm slipping the jab. This is the jab coming from the opponent. When I'm on this side of the slip line, I slip the cross coming over my right shoulder. So start off on the end of your line, move forward with the one, two, move the feet, come under, throw the jab, come under, move forward, get in close. When I'm at this distance, I can close that distance real well. I can step in forward and get real close to Bob, dig a hook to the body, come up top, dig a hook to the head, come back underneath, uppercut to the head, okay? Hook to the body, come up top, hook to the head. You can mix up your combinations any way you want. It's just important to remember once getting in close to Bob, since it's over his right shoulder, it's going to help you most to imagine that that's the right cross because that's where the right cross would come from. So when I go to this side, I want to really work my left hook to the head, my left hook to the body, and that uppercut coming straight down the middle right at Bob's chin. Now, as you can see, we've switched our slip line. It's coming over Bob's left shoulder now, simulating Bob's left jab. So now we're going to be focusing on our right side after slipping that jab. We can still go both sides. We can come straight forward with shots, but we really want to focus on when we're slipping that jab, coming under the jab that's fully extended with an uppercut to the chin or getting low, digging into the body, and then coming up to the head. So it's important to remember when you're on the outside, when you have a little bit of distance, you can use both sides. You can go under the line, come back under the line, throw straight jabs, throw the cross, throw the one, two, a little bit of everything, just working both sides as if you were doing a normal slip line drill. Once you get in close to Bob, after moving forward, that's when you really want to dig into the body, come up to the head, take advantage of which side the slip line is on. This was a counter jab Bob just threw at me. I'll come underneath with the uppercut to the jaw, come over the top with a hook to the head, get low, deliver a hook to the body, mix in those punches, mix in the combinations. So it is important when doing this drill, it's better to attach your slip line to something other than your Bob because when you're striking Bob, he's going to be shaking and rattling and it's going to unsteady your slip line, making it a little bit more difficult for you to go under and continue your drill, your combination, going side to side, attacking the body, attacking the head. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Prime Martial Arts. Turn on notifications for all future videos.